Hi everyone, in this video, some important temperatures to remember concerning hypothermia, starting right now. Hi everyone, in this quick video, a word about hypothermia, low temperature. And when we're talking about hypothermia in humans, remember we're talking about core temperature. We're not talking about the outside temperature. We're not talking about going outside and going, oh man, this is really cold. No, we're talking about the core body temperature dropping. That's hypothermia in the human. Now, who is susceptible to feeling the effects of hypothermia? Same as any other trauma category, the very young, the very old, the very sick, and those with pigmented skin tissue. Uh, black folks are more susceptible to skin injuries from cold than are non-pigmented white folk. Now, when you look at the whole hypothermia chart and all the temperatures associated with it, it starts at normal, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, drops all the way to 80 degrees, and then all the symptoms that go along with those uh, temperatures. Great. Let's talk about a few really important ones that are helpful. The first one, as we're coming down, patients getting cold, 95 degrees. At 95 degrees Fahrenheit, the body will start to try to produce its own heat through shivering. At that point, the body will start to shiver automatically in its attempt to produce thermogenesis. It's trying to produce some heat. They are shivering uncontrollably, 95 degrees. Now, the rub, shivering, global shivering like that, it increases metabolic oxygen consumption by 600%. So you're gonna to wanna to stop the shivering. When we get to treatment, you're gonna warm them, but then Versed, Valium, uh, some benzodiazepine if it's in your protocol to treat the shivering. So at 95, they're shivering. As the body temperature continues to drop, we're gonna see progressive neuro changes, further loss of consciousness, further loss of motor function, further loss of cognition, all of that is beginning to fail. Right around 88 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, they are going to stop shivering. And this of course is bad. The body can no longer generate uh, any heat. They've lost their ability to thermogenesis. They're, they're, they can't produce any more heat. But at that temperature, now they've stopped shivering, so that's a landmark too. And that also occurs around 32 degrees Celsius. That one I actually remember in Celsius. Now, as the body temperature continues to drop lower than 80 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to see cardiac changes, AFib, VFib, cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest, loss of consciousness, things are going to get worse. 